Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to migrate ESXi host 7.0 host networking from virtual switch to vSphere distributed switch in vCenter 7.0. Okay, so within our lab, we have a 7.0 update 3 edition of ESXi and vCenter also running with 7.0 update 3. So to perform this migration from vSwitch to dvSwitch migration, generally it includes five key steps. Okay, those five steps we are going to discuss now. So there are the five key topics that we look at the when we consider migration. So the first step is create a VDS. That means we have to create a distributed switch. As we are aware, distributed switch feature is available only within a vCenter level. It's not on the ESXi host level. So first we can log into vCenter and create a distributed switch. And duplicate PGs, that means duplicate port groups. Duplicate means here the there is a different meaning. Uh, like uh, suppose within our virtual switch, we have a VLANs, like we configured a VLANs, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30, three port groups. So each port group have a different VLAN, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30. The similar VLAN, but not the same name as vSwitch port group name, different name, but with the same VLANs, we have to create a port groups in a distributed switch. Okay, that is the importance of step one. And the step two, add host to virtual distributed switch. That means the distributed switch, when we create a DV switch, by default, it won't contain any of the ESX host. We have to add the ESX host to distributed switch. And the step three, assign redundant NICs on VDS. That means redundant NIC means normally when we adding the DV switch, by default, it may connect with one NIC. Default either without NICs also we can add, that option is available. And later, if you want to add a additional NICs or if you want to provide a redundancy NICs also, that is the key step in step three. Assign redundant NICs on VDS. Generally, the minimum requirement for each host adding to VDS is one NIC call and the recommendation is minimally two NIC cards to maintain the redundancy. If you have a 10 host, each host must have a two NICs to dedicated for your distributed switch communication. Okay. And in ESXi terminology, the NIC NIC cards, we also call it as uplinks. Okay. Two uplinks for each ESXi host. Okay. And step four, migrate virtual machines to distributed switch. Okay, and not only virtual machines, we can also migrate VM kernel. VM kernel means by default, ESX host have a VM kernel port groups, one dedicated for a management network, one dedicated for a vMotion, and we can also create a additional VM kernel port groups. Okay, those VM kernel port groups also, we can directly migrate from virtual switch to distributor switch. That is our fourth step. And the last, step is moving the remaining NICs. Even if you, after migration, if you have a free NICs within our virtual switch, those free NICs also or unused VM NICs also, we can move the remaining NICs to the virtual distributor switch. And if the all the vSwitch information, vSwitch VM kernel and VMs migrated to DV switch, we are also good to clean up the virtual switch. Okay, these are all the five key steps. We are going to test it in our lab, all these steps one by one. Okay, so let me log into the lab system. Let's say within our lab, we have a vCenter server 7.0 update 3. And even we have a four years success host, each host running with 7.0 update 3. Okay, within these four hosts, if you want to see the what are all the networking available means. In the top, we have a host and clusters, VMs and template, data store, and for networking concept, we have to select the networking tab. When you select the networking tab, expand the data center, we can see we have only one VM network port group, okay? And we do not have a distributed switch. So first we have to create a distributed switch. Before creating the distributed switch, as I mentioned, we need a minimally one NIC cord from each ESXi host. And for redundancy purpose, we can have a additional NIC cords. So when you go to the host and clusters again, select the ESXi host, right side, go to the configure tab. And here you can look for a storage networking section. Under networking section, select the physical adapter and make sure we have any physical 
available free NICs. If you see here, we have currently four NICs called. This is one default redundant, uh, one unused NIC. This one safely ignore because it's not at all connected to any networks, no networks. So the main NICs are we have VM NIC 0, VM NIC 1, 2, 3. Four NICs are available. Within these four NICs, if you see the vSwitch column, first NIC VM NIC 0 assigned to vSwitch 0, VM NIC 2 and VM NIC 3 assigned to vSwitch 1. So we have a free NIC is VM NIC 1 is free. And even if you observe the ESX2, VMNIC1 is available free. And we ESX03 also, VMNIC1 is free. And ESX4 also same. Okay. Once we notice that we have a one NIC is available for each ESX4. This is the minimum requirement for each host to add it to a distributor switch. So that verification is completed. Now, as per our steps the first step is create vds that means create a distributed virtual switch so to create a distributed switch procedure is go to the networking tab select the data center right click we can see the option for distributed switch when you select the distributed switch choose the option for new distributed switch so select new distributed switch and distributed switch name you can mention any name okay uh, if you see the, our lab i am just using all lower case so let me follow the same naming convention so db switch so this distributed switch hyphen 01 Let's say this is the first DB switch. I'm keeping the same name, same standard, 01. So click on next. And we can configure distributed switch with our current version, ESXA 7.0 update 3 or 7.0.3, this version, or we can use the lower version. But currently, we are good to go with the latest version because when you have any ESX host running with the lower version within your vCenter environment, that time you can choose the lower version DB switch. If you are all ESX running with the 7.0.3, we are good to choose the latest version. Okay, It depends on your environment ESX versions. You can choose the respective DB switch version. Okay, so select the DB switch version, click on next. And see number of uplinks, by default, it will add four uplinks. Okay, but these uplinks are logical uplinks. Currently, we are not choosing the any network cores here. And within this uh, DB switch, one of the key feature is network input output control is enabled by default. And the distributed port group create a default port group. While creation of distributed switch itself, by default, it will create a one distributed port group. Okay, so if you want to use the same name, you can use, or if you want to modify the name, you can modify the name. Let's say distributed port group name, if you want to modify to the any different name, let's say I'm keeping the name as production. So production or generally in the real time scenarios, they may use DB port group like DP hyphen any of the VLAN number. Let's see if you have VLAN number 10 means DP hyphen 10. That means that is a distributed port group with VLAN 10. That is also easy uh, naming convention we can follow in the real time scenarios. But in our test lab, you can use any of the random name. Okay, so let's say for our easy understanding, I'm using the name as production. That means all our production VMs, we can map to this port group. Okay, so click on next and you can see the ready to complete summary tab. We have a distributed switch 7.03, four uplinks, network IO control enabled, port group name is DV switch. And it is clearly suggested what is the next actions. Create additional port groups. That means new distributed port group we can create. That is our next subsequent action. And another one, add and manage host. That means we have to add the host because within the DV switch step, there is no option to add the host. Later on, we have to add the multiple ESX host to distributor switch. Okay. So this action will be available in the actions menu. There is a actions menu here. We can use the actions menu to perform these actions. Okay. First, we can complete our step one click on finish when you click on finish we have a dv switch 01 created and default one port group is created that is production port group let's back to our slide we'll quickly verify our step one is completed and the step two is we have to add the host to vds so let's observe how we are going to add the host to distributed switch so how we can add is select our distributed switch right click we can have a option to add host option this option is generally it's available from the actions table when you see here in the right click option it's not showing the any of the 
add host option we can see in the third option sorry add and manage host either you can see from here or i'll select the device switch in the right pan you can go to the actions you can see the same wizard okay any method you can use either right click dv switch and choose add and manage host or go to actions menu and choose the add and manage host okay when we select this option within this wizard we have a three options add host that means we are just adding the host manage host networking that means when you choose this option we are also not only adding the host we are also additionally managing the network also okay so just for our easy understanding and the third option is remove the host okay but currently for our quick understanding first i am going to add the host first okay and click on next while adding the host itself we can see there are five steps in this five steps only we highlighted in our slide selecting the host manage physical adapter manage physical adapter we just for our easy understanding we assigned as a si nic cards or we can also call it as redundant nic cards we can not only one nic card recommend to add multiple nics okay that is the step three this step three only it is showing clearly within this wizard and manage vm kernel adapters so manage vm kernel adapters we in technical terms we can also call it as migrate vm kernels from v switch to dv switch so that option only they are highlighting in the step and another point migrate vm networking vm networking is nothing but your vms from v switch to dv switch so all these four steps and finally it is showing us ready to complete these steps are available within while add and manage host wizard itself if you are on okay to do you can do it all at one one step or for our easy understanding either we can do one by one also both options are available and even if you want select all host one shot you can select all host at at a time that is one option or you can also select one host at a time that is as per your convenience so we have multiple options available when i select one host if you see in the selected option it is only selected one host okay let's for our easy understanding i'm just going with the one host first in the next step i will show you multiple host okay click on next and here it is saying the heading is manage physical adapters as we know if you see vm nick zero one two three we already observed that VMNIC 0 connected to one switch, VMNIC 2 connected to one switch, and VMNIC 3 also connected to one switch. So what is the available NIC is VMNIC 1 only available free. So this NIC we are good to assign. So this NIC we are going to assign as a uplink 1. Okay. So that is the option I selected now. That means adapter is going to select it. Okay. Click on next. And now the step is, we are also as part of step, we have to migrate VM kernel to VDS. So that means we need to choose our VM kernel port group, VMK0, I'm going to add it to our ESXi host DV switch. So just the, for that scenario, select assign port group. When you select assign port group, what is the port group we are going to assign? It is going to assign to the DV switch 01. So click on assign okay so again when we select go back cancel let's close this wizard so we already assigned the vm nick zero that means we are going to migrate vm kernel port group vmk zero changing from v switch to dv switch okay and now click on next and currently there is no vms running on the host that's why it's not showing here generally if you have a vms here we can also migrate vms using this wizard itself okay so now click on next let's say we are going to add one host one physical adapter and reassigning the vm kernel adapter these three steps are going to perform now when we click finish okay once you click finish we can see in the recent task the network status is going to update. You can see here, add distributed pro reconfigure DV switch is completed and update network configuration with ESXi host. So if you want to verify our test result, select the DV switch in the right side, go to the host tab, we can see ESX1 is added successfully. Okay, and even if you want to verify from directly from host, click on ESX host one here and here in the configuration tab under networking, go to the virtual switches, you can see DV switch zero one is created. When you expand the uplink, 
see the uplink one is added even the vlm production also added vmk0 vm kernel 0 also added to dv switch either you can verify from v switch wizard or another way to verify is in the below when you select the vm kernel adapter you can see vmk0 pointed to the dv switch 0 and port group is production network label it's connected okay and when i select the physical adapter even within the physical adapter vm nick 0 connected to v switch 0 vm nick win is connected to dv switch 1 but when i select the virtual switches when you see the v switch 0 you can see only one nick available currently there is no virtual machines virtual machine count is 0 but vmk1 is available here if you want to migrate the vm kernel 1 again to the dv switch how we can assign is go to the networking tab, select the DV switch, right click. I'm going to show you how we can migrate only VM kernel. During that scenario, instead of adding host option, the relevant option to migrate VMK1, choose the option manage host networking. When you select manage host networking, click on next and choose the same host again click on next and this time we no need to modify the vmnic one because vmnic already connected to dv switch click on next our main objective is we are planning to change migrate the vm kernel adapter from v switch to dv switch so select this one click on assign port group we are going to assign to dv switch this is how we can migrate the networking vm kernel from v switch to dv switch so click on next currently no virtual machine so this tab is leave it blank click on next so observe the our objective result we we are using the same host but we are changing the vm kernel adapter from vmk1 migrating from v switch 0 to dv switch dv switch 1 okay click on finish when i click on finish it will say the production recent task will be updated again see the update network configuration completed the second task also completed so how we can observe is dv switch one we can see the host is same host and network side we can see the production network also same to verify the specific ports go to the ports tab earlier we have only the nick card is vmk0 now vmk1 also added either you can verify from the ports tab or alternatively go to the host and clusters tab select the esx host expand the vswitch0 you can see there is a vmk1 earlier that vmk1 now completely migrated to vswitch dv switch one when i expand here you can see vmk0 vmk1 and if you see the vmnic0 currently vmnic0 is connected to vswitch0 but vmnic0 is completely empty okay but how we can add this redundancy nick to here that step only i highlighted in the step 3 so until now we have got a complete clear idea how to create a distributed switch how to create a port group how we can add the host to distributed switch these two steps we got an idea and step 3 is assign redundancy nick on vds when you see in our vds currently we have only one nick card one uplink there is no redundancy nick how we can add a redundancy nick is currently this nick is unused there is no connections to this nick so that scenario how we can do is we can just remove the nick select the nick from the v switch zero and move it to the unused state unused statement currently unused state so click on ok this nick is activated as a unused state when i click manage adapter vm nick zero is under unused adapter that means we are good to use vm nick zero for a dv switch but in the sometime production environment there will be additional nick cards that time we no need to remove the v switch network adapter but in our lab system we have limited nicks so i'm just removed the vm nick zero from v switch zero the reason is currently it, the nick is completely unused okay so how we can add the redundancy nick to vds is again go to the networking tab select the distributed switch right click and you can choose add manage host but we are not adding the host we are adding a redundancy nick that means select manage host networking click on next and host is same host click on next and we need to choose the nick card now is vm nick zero it is connected to earlier one v switch zero but that switch is currently we make the nick, nick card as a unused so you can change the nick as a uplink to okay so this is how we can add the redundancy nick to distributed switch okay so click on next but this time we are not touching the vm kernel adapter we already migrated and this host do not have any vms click on next and finish 
So again, in the recent task, you can notice update virtual switch is completed. So how we can verify? Either verify from the networks tab, we can verify from here, or the another option is go to the host and cluster, select the ESXH01, and expand the vSwitch0. Within the vSwitch0, there is no NIC cards. And when you expand the DV switch, distributed switch 01, expand the uplink one, one NIC is connected, expand the uplink two, one NIC is connected. And even VM kernel also migrated here. Okay, hope you understand the step three also. Okay, now step four, migrate vms to distributed switch or migrate vm kernel to distributed switch earlier i already covered vm kernel migration for esx01 but this time quickly we can run these steps to step 3 and step 4 for the other host so that we can understand the how we are migrating vm kernel to vds okay when i select the esx2 even correct first observe the esx2 status when you see the esx2 we have a esxi2 VMK0 is migrated here, uh, but in the VMK1 is VMK2 and VMK3 is here. And let's see the vSwitch0. See, ESX2, currently it's running on a vSwitch0 only. There is no DV switch edition. So we are going to add this ESXi2 to DV switch 01 and we are going to migrate VM kernel 0, VM kernel 1 to distributed switch. Okay. But before adding, we also need a one free nick. We already observed there is a one free nick is available. Okay. And same job we are going to perform for a ESX3 also, even in the ESX3. When you observe virtual switches, it's still running on a vSwitch 0. So vSwitch 0 means it's not a added to DV switch. So how we can perform multiple hosts at a time? Let's select the right click the DV switch, go to the add manage host and choose add host option. Select this time we are going to add multiple host. Same way we can add ESX4 as well. Okay, just for our understanding, this time I added here two hosts. Click on next. And what is our main task? We need to change the network adapter. Currently, VM NIC 1 is running with zero switches. So this NIC we are going to add it as a uplink one. Okay, so click on next and VM kernel adapters. What is our main plan? VMK0 also we are migrating to DV switch. So assign. Again, go back and select the other NIC code. Close this wizard and VMK1 assign port group. We are assigning to DV switch 01. Okay. So that means VM kernel also we are going to migrate from virtual switch to distributed switch. Okay. So now click on next. Currently, no virtual machine. Even if we have any virtual machines available here, we can also migrate VMs from V switch to DV switch using this wizard itself. Okay, so click on next. See our objective is we are adding the two hosts. We are adding the two physical NIC adapters. That means with uh, one NIC from one host, one NIC from another host. And reassign the VM kernel adapters from V switch to DV switch. So click on finish. So when you click on finish, observe the recent task. It will update the recent task information. Once the recent task information is updated, see you can see ESX2 and ESX3 update network configuration completed. So to verify this one, select a distributed switch 01, right side, go to the host tab. Earlier we have only ESX1, now we have a two hosts, okay? And to verify directly from the host level, select the ESX host 2. You can see currently host is running on DV switch 01 and even the NIC card also, one NIC card added and the two NIC cards, two VM kernels also migrated. And when you see the vSwitch 01, vSwitch 0 currently there is no VM kernel, one NIC is available. Even to add this redundancy NIC to DV switch, how we can add? Click on the manage network adapter, make this VM NIC to unused first. Okay, click on okay. Click on okay. So that means this NIC is become as a unused. And same way, ESX3 also observe the vSwitch zero status. DV switch is having two VM kernel and it's connected with one uplink. But there is no redundancy link. To make the redundancy link, the under the vSwitch zero, notice that there is no in use virtual machine. Completely the NIC is free. So when the NIC is free, go to the manage physical adapter, select the VM NIC zero, make it as unused adapter, click on OK. Okay, so once this NIC is unavailable, how we can add? Go to the networking tab, select the distributed switch, go to the add manage host, and you can use the option manage host networking. 
click on next and this time we are selecting only host 2 and 3 click on next and adopt a vm nick 0 currently vm nick 0 we are making as a uplink 2 okay so click on next and the port groups we already changed so no need to modify anything click on next finish so again go to the ESXi host level when you observe here within the dv switch currently we have a redundancy nick also available and v switch is completely free even in the ESX01, V switch is completely free. If you want to remove this switch, just remove. Okay. And even this is how just go to here. We completed the VM case migrate to VDS. And even moving the remaining NICs, we already moved the V switch network to DV switch. We observed. And V switch cleanup option is I will show you now. So select the DV switch, virtual switch zero currently in you unused. Click on remove. Okay, V switch zero will be removed from ESX one, and we have only V switch one is available. Okay, and same way, select the ESX two. If you want to remove the V switch zero, first to verify whether there is any running VMs and any adapter. Currently, it's unused, so go, select the three dots, click on remove. Okay, and this is how we can remove. And even ESX three also same. Currently, no VMs, no adapters. Select the three dots, remove. Okay, so when you see here. ESX1 currently no V switch 0, ESX2 also no V switch 0, ESX3 also no V switch 0. Okay. And same way, go back to our slide. We observed all the steps except to migrate VMs from V switch to DV switch. This step I am going to show you now. Okay. So back to the slide again. If you want to migrate a virtual machine from V switch to DV switch, first to verify there is a one VM running with the DC01, it's Windows 2019 VM, and it is connected to VM network. VM network, when you click on VM network, VM network is nothing but a, it's a V switch networking. So go to the specific VM. This VM is running on a ESX4. Let's say when I select the ESX4, currently this ESX4 is running on which ESX, uh, this ESX running on V switch zero only, and this is not a tadder to distributed switch. So first step is, as per our notes, first we can add to the distributed switch, assign the NIC code, then only we can migrate the VM. So the same step, we are going to observe how we are going to migrate the virtual machine. So right click the DV switch, add manage host. This time we are adding the remaining host, ESX4. Okay, so what is the redundancy NIC? We have free NIC is VM NIC 0, uplink 1. Click on next. And this time also, if you want to migrate the VM kernel, you can migrate it now or you can migrate it later as well. Any option is fine. But we are adding a VM kernel, NIC 0, 1. We are going to add now. And again, even we are going to add a vMotion also. Okay, two VMK 0, VMK 1 adding to the DV switch click on next and migrating when you see here the currently the vm migration network currently it is not detected the vmotion network later on once it is added to the dv switch then this option will be highlighted click on next finish so when you select the distributed switch right side host tab see all hosts are now connected to distributed switch just for our easy understanding i just shown you three times just for our click view First time I added one host, second time I added two hosts, third time I added only one host. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how we are going to migrate the virtual machine from V switch to DV switch. There are multiple methods. When you select the VM network tab, right click, there is an option to migrate VMs to another network. Okay. So this is the one option. So or else you can choose the option is select the VM network actions tab. You can see the option. Okay, so right click here, migrate VMs to another network. This is our source network is network, VM network. And destination we have to choose. So let's say destination, we have a production. Production is running on a distributed switch. So select that network, click on next. Currently, when we are performing, you can choose multiple machines or you can choose one machine also. Both options are available. You, either you can choose one VM or you can select multiple VMs, even n number of VMs also we can select at a time. Okay, click on next and click on finish. So during this migration, there will be no network impact, no interruption to the production. So when you see here now, go to the DC01 VM, 
summary tab earlier it was running on vm network now it is migrated to distributed switch okay there is no issues to the virtual machine also even if you want to test the ping status open the cmd and type the ping status to this virtual machine this virtual machine running on 192.168.243.44 vm status is pinging that means no impact to the virtual machine okay so hope you understand how we can perform the migrate the virtual machine from vSwitch to dvSwitch and as well as the complete ESXi host networking from vSwitch to dvSwitch. All these five steps, it's very clear and we hope you got the all the five steps information. Okay, that's it. Thanks for your time. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.